Greetings everyone from a nerdy country, Japan. This content focuses on theories of an Ollie and mainly uses a physics engine. So if you're looking for more real life based skate content, please come back next time. Last time, we saw bodies pull up a front feet in an Ollie, and we needed to push them down to lift the tail effectively. This time, we will verify which direction and how much force we should apply using a physics engine so that we can avoid subjective bias. Premises, we will exclude the process of sliding up the board from this experiment's scope. Then, push the nose by throwing a foot, not a shoe, which weighs 3 kilograms. These rings are distances between the board and the foot starting point. The foot moves within the same direction of time in all conditions, so the distance translates to its speed. One more, I'll be using a simpler version of 3D models, as we can expect better results from the physics engine. In the first case, the front foot continues moving in the same direction as its sliding motion. You may often do this when you're not used to doing all this by concentrating too much on the sliding movement. As a result, even if you move your front foot faster, your board won't level. So why? As I mentioned in the previous content, you must utilize the board's momentum to level it. After popping, the board keeps going upward even while you're holding down the nose. When you apply a force parallel to the board, you may be able to lift the board by pulling up the nose. But the force of the board's center of gravity cannot effectively lift the tail. A common mistake is to move the front foot forward relative to your body. Your body's center of gravity pulls your front foot up after popping, resulting your front foot going diagonally upward. To avoid that, you must find a way to lower your front foot to offset the body's upward momentum. Let's see what happens if you put it off. This time, the board levels. However, depending on the front foot speed, it levels only after coming down low. So, it would help if you move your front foot fast. What if we apply more of a downward force? We'll see what happens if you push the nose from 120 degrees. If you apply only a small force, the board will fall as if nothing had happened. With a strong force instead, it pushes the board down against the board's upward momentum. What if you hold the nose more gradually or gently? Let's push the nose from around 110 degrees. In this case, it seems you can effectively suppress the rising speed of the nose. At the same time, the board's center of gravity lifts the tail without being offset by the front foot. I said I was going to talk about the timing this time, but that's for next time. Thank you so much for watching as always. Until next time.